Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. In this video, I want to thank one of our viewers who requested me to make a video on global chain. So this video tutorial I am making to define what is global chain. So global chain is a command and tool that, that allow us to apply the large scale or bulk changes to the schedule and we save a lot of time and efforts because these changes are normally tedious and take so much time. So in fact, this tool is providing us very flexibility and it's very, very convenient and it provides confidence when you're applying some custom and calculated adjustment to all activities of the project or some selected set of the activities. We can modify with the global chain. We can modify the project dur activity durations. We can, either you know, we can increase or decrease by some pro proportion or percentage. Similarly, we can modify the resources and costs assigned. We can increase or decrease the assigned resources and costs by some proportion or percentage. Similarly, we can fill the data for the user-defined field using the global chain very easily. So once we are applying global chain, we should take care of that for this uh, when for this command and tool. There's no undo available. So once we are applying this or committing the changes, be careful that and be confident that there is no uh, no harm and the changes are happen as exactly what we are expecting. So because and uh, in other case, sometimes for applying a very large project, it is very difficult to go and check all activities and some error can be happen at anywhere. So it is uh, advice for all of our uh, all of us those who are using global chain that before applying these changes or before applying the global change, we can make the copy of the program so that if anything goes wrong or anything not happen what we are expecting, then in this case, our original program remains unaffected and we have the original program again and we can make it again the changes because this is quite possible that when we are making the conditions in the global chain, there are typo errors or sometimes we are not writing the condition or formulas exactly and it will come up with the wrong results. So in this case, and once we apply the, or commit the changes, we cannot revert back the original program. So it is always advisable, to please, 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 before making the global change, make sure that you make the copy of the original program. Now we will see how we can access the global change in the primary row. So the global change uh, command is available in the tool menu. And when we click, click on the tool, uh, tool menu, the drop down the, the will come out. And in the drop down, there is global change. So once the, you click the global change button in the tool menu, you have to, you will get the modify global chain dialog box and this dialog box having contains uh, select subject area which is related to activities, resources and project expenses. The other is the chain, global chain name. You can assign any name which is in future help us, help you to make why you make this global chain and in this case in the, basically the uh, global change for uh, modify global change dialog box contains three main areas. If if is the condition you want to meet, for example, if the consultant or client is not agreeing for activities more than 30 days, then you can put the condition that if original duration is greater than or equal to 30, day, 30 days. So it will, the condition will apply for all the activities which are having the duration more than 30 days. And then you have the then statement, then for example, if the duration is greater than 30 days, then the revised duration will be 20 days. So, or whatever you are, you assign for, and then in the else statement, else statement is uh, uh, is uh, mm, is uh, is uh, uh, custom, uh, is you can apply the changes here or you can keep it empty, because normally if the condition meet, then statement apply the changes, and then otherwise the other activities which are not uh, fulfilling this condition are remains unchanged. So this is our global chain dialog box. You can see this contains basically three statement if, then, and else statement. If statement is something like uh, quite similar with the filter statement when we are filtering some activities. So the just condition are same as the filter activities. And then uh, the condition what you want to apply. So now let's apply this condition in the primera itself. Now we are on the program. We are going to open this one program. This is a tiny program, make it this is a small program, just select the program and click open. Once the program open, you can say this program is this a small program contains few activities and here we define some user defined field. In the user defined field, we have this uh, uh, DD, FN means detail design finish, DD, ST, detail design start and similarly PD finish. 
PD means preliminary design finish, PDSG preliminary design start. So uh, we have all these stages. For example, we have preliminary design, schematic design, detailed design, and tender stage. So we have we have assigned uh, assigned the uh, user defined field for all of these stages. So once once we uh, what we do first, we just go in the user defined field and show this uh, user defined field on the screen. So first is preliminary design start, then preliminary design finish, then we have schematic design start, schematic design finish, then we have detail design start, detail design finish, and then we have tender design start and tender design finish. Once we apply, apply this or uh, put all this uh, user defined field, we just apply. You can see that all these fields are empty. So, sorry, this I have to remove this uh, sort button by mistake. Click it. Apply, apply. Now, before applying this, you can see that all these fields are empty. Tender stage start and tender design stage finish. Yes, okay, and there's nothing okay. Now, now we want to put this dates here. So, first, what we'll do, we want to assign all this pre design start and finish dates here. Just go again and just put the start, make it up. Pre design start, pre design finish, simulate security design start, finish. This all are user defined field are empty, and when we want to fill this user defined field, so we go in tool. And once we open tool, when we click the tool, the drop down dialog box will come up. And here you can see that global change. Just click the global change. Before, again, before making these changes, make sure that you make the copy. I already make the copy. I'll show you here. Is there one way of the making the copy is that just go in the project and then make maintain baseline. In the maintain baseline, just make it add and make the save a copy of the current project as a new baseline. So what we'll do, it will copy the program in the as a baseline so if something going wrong you can take this data outside you can uh, take this program outside and and your original program remains un, uh, unaffected so i already make the copy of this program it's already you can see here this is the copy of the program so we go again tool and then just go into global chain i make one global chain which is pt033 just modify this one when you click this one, the modify global change dialog box will come up. In the select subject area, we have three options, which is activity, resources, and expenses. So uh, we are working on the activities. And then you can put any name which is useful for you to in the future so that no need to make the conditions again and again. Here, I got if a statement that we say that if activity name or sorry, WBS name contains preliminary. So we just write preliminary see if there's quite possible that we have some typo error so make sure that this thing is happen human error are there and you know no one can eliminate 100 percent human errors so it is always recommended that before applying this global change make the copy of the program so we write preliminary okay then just make it this is our condition that if the name contains preliminary then just select then statement and then add then you just select p so it will be preliminary design start equals to early start and preliminary design finish is the early finish just press e early finish will come once it's done just play change the global change contains parameter that cannot be cancelled after viewing the report it means that there is no undo so do you want to can proceed let's start yes and you can see here that we have plain design we have four activities 10 20 30 40 and all this have the initial all in all values have zero no value sign and this is the new values so it seems that it is okay because all the old values are empty we don't have previous values and it takes the this values from the early dates so once you are sure just press the commit changes it will ask you to save the log file just no need to save the log file and then okay and then click okay to close you can see here that print design start finish taken from here first january to nine january first january to nine january this all dates came from here similarly you can go for other tool global chain then modify again you can see if contain 
schematic c h e m a t h schematic then schematic design start just break as start equals to early start then schematic design finish equals to early finish just press e okay and when do just changes yes you can see all values are zero empty and this is new values commit changes no need to log the save the log file and okay now you can see schematic design it started from 22nd january 16 feb 4th march to 4th uh, 4 march to 4 march okay similarly you go again in the global change again modify if contains detail then detail design start equals to early start similarly detail, detail design finish equals to early finish then okay then apply changes proceed you can see all values are zero this activity detail design start detail design stage activity 10 activity 20 30 40 and all they have we have four activities and this is start finish for each activity so that commit means this are okay commit changes no need to log file keep the save the log file then close now you can see this detail design stage came now go again and put global change modify if the contains tender just like tender then tender design stage start equals to early start similarly tender start finish equals to early finish okay apply changes yes proceed you can see we have tender design stage ts 010 ts 020 30 40 and 50 we have five activities here and these are our values are zero new values are here can make changes no need to log the okay, save log file apply and close in this case you can see you fill this data you populate the data for the user defined field now we can do here we just go and add the column for the duration and we put that baseline one duration just add this column here apply as i told you that i already made the copy of the this program so this all the duration are matching seven days seven days two days five days all are matching now for any reason for example i just for the illustration purpose we need to increase the duration by double so what we go we go again the global change okay this same global change we just modify okay and we say that just remove this all activity because we have to apply for all or suppose we want to apply for only for the uh, schematic design stage so we say if the uh, suppose we want to apply these changes only in the preliminary design stage so we say if WS name contains preliminary then come here just delete this old statement yes delete this all then add this original duration original duration equals to original duration then operator multiply by custom multiply by 2 okay so it will be double change see this all value is 7 now 14 all value 2 4 original duration is all value is 5 now 10 and 1 and 10 if you are satisfied these values just press confirm changes commit changes do you want to save log file no and you can see here all the duration of changes now you can see here that 40 or baseline duration why baseline change baseline should not be changed uh, okay why it is changed i tell you why because we in the baseline formula we, we do not assign it so we just go here and make baseline assign now you can see the previously it was seven days now it's 14 days previously two days now four days previously five days now 10 days previously one days and now two days so in this way you increase the design stage previous design stage activities by double so the same way you can increase decrease the resources you can expense sales 
uh, and a lot of way you can apply the same way you are, what for a filter you can apply the same condition you can use in the WBS but again WBS uh, for the global change command uh, we don't have the undo uh, option available so before making the changes just make sure that you are applying safe changes make sure there is no typo errors and more or above all there's always a possibility that there are human error are there to avoid this human error better to have a copy of the original program so that if something going wrong or something not happen what we are expecting then in this case we have retained our original program so i hope you learned something new from here and it will be useful for our fellow engineer for in their regular work to improve their productivity and their uh, efficiency so if you like this video please consider subscribing it is a great support for us for all of our and i will keep on making a good video helpful informative video for our fellow planning engineer so till next video please uh, consider subscribing and provide your valuable comments and you if you want to uh, have some more points or some concern please write to me i will try to make uh, video on this topic and I will try as early as possible because I am also working as a full time client so you know it's sometimes very difficult to uh, spare some time to make a good video which is helpful for our engineers but I am trying my level best to spare some time to make videos for our fellow engineers and please consider subscribing and, sh and share this video so till next video thank you very much for your time see you again take care bye bye